that, let's move on and talk about the big queue, which is that the earnings season kicks off today. This is the Q1 earnings season. And IT heavyweights TCS um, and HCL Tech are both due to report their numbers today. So let's start off with bringing you what we can really expect. Reema is here with that. Reema, let's start with TCS. Take us through what the street is expecting this time around. Well, this is the first press conference which will be addressed by K. Kritivasan, who became the CEO of the company from 1st of June. Uh, and given the difficult environment that we're in, it's likely to be a very muted quarter. In fact, this could be the weakest June quarter growth for the company in more than a decade, ex of the COVID year. So the reason for uh, that is the uncertain macro environment, verticals like BFSI, uh, you know, retail, uh, telecom, high tech, they've all been hurting. Projects are getting uh, deferred. Uh, discretionary spending is getting canceled. So when you run us through, when you run you through the numbers, constant currency revenue growth at 0.2%, that's pretty flat. Dollar revenue growth up half a percent on a quarter on quarter basis. Because of the wage hike impact, margins are likely to contract by more than 100 basis points to 23.4% and profits will be down 4.5% quarter on quarter. The silver lining is the deal wins have been very strong. In this quarter, there was one deal cancellation by Transamerica, but there were uh, you know, many other companies like Nest, UK's largest work pension scheme, Marks and Spencers. There was a deal with Phoenix Groups. There was a large BN BSNL deal. So the deals have been very good and the hope is that the, this will, these strong deal wins, the order pipeline will fuel growth in the subsequent quarters. So the question is, is an H2 recovery on the cards or is there a risk of downside and even focus on management transition? All right, Reema, thanks a lot for taking us through all of the, those expectations. And of course, it'll be interesting to hear what the new CEO has to say as well after the numbers. Uh, but Reema, HCL Tech will also be reporting its Q1 numbers today. And the stock is definitely going into it extremely weak. Uh, take us through what we should watch here. Indeed, HCL Tech stock has corrected over the last four trading sessions. The street is expecting a very weak quarter. Uh, let me tell you what the consensus numbers are. A dollar revenue growth of 0.9%, a constant currency revenue growth of 0.4 to 0.5%. But given the way the stock has sold off, I think it's uh, penciling in a much weaker quarter. Margins are likely to be down 30 basis points. There is no wage hike impact, but it's pure negative operating leverage, which could hurt the top line. The key is going to be the FI24 guidance, likely to remain unchanged, which means a constant currency revenue growth of 6 to 8%, and EBIT margins in a range of 18 to 19%. The key to track will be uh, the deal wins, because the deal wins for the company have been very, very robust. Outlook on margins going ahead, and general macro environment, how is the decision making? Uh, are the deals getting converted they are in the pipeline but are they getting converted outlook on individual verticals which have been under stress like uh, you know high tech communications so the street is going to be watching out for management comments and corporate behavior which could fuel whether a recovery is on the cards in the second half back to you all right Rima thanks a lot for taking us through all of those expectations from TCS and HCL tech of course